Hello guys, welcome to the fifth part of the WhatsApp Cloud API video series. In this video, we'll walk you through the steps to create a custom template for your business, which you can use with WhatsApp Cloud API. If you're unfamiliar with how to set up WhatsApp Cloud API, I'd recommend you watch our video about how to get started with WhatsApp Cloud API. You'll see the link at the top right corner of your screen. Okay, so first, go to Meta Business Suite and log into your account. Then select the business for which you want to create the WhatsApp message template. Now go to business account information and you'll see this link which says go to business settings. Go ahead and click on that link and you'll see a window which looks something like this. Now you need to click on these three lines right here and select WhatsApp manager. Here uh, under the account tools section, you'll see this link to manage message templates. Now these are all the existing message templates which come by default from Meta. Click on create message templates and select the type of message template you want to go with. Uh, I'll go with the one time password and name it uh, OTP underscore template. You can add multiple languages to this template, but I'll go with English for the time being. Once you're done, you'll be prompted to this window where you can create a message template to be used in cloud API. You can add text or media in the header section. I'll go with the text and write OTP in the header. Now you need to add the body of your message template. Notice that you can also see a preview of your message in the right part of your screen. You can also add variables in your message template which can be configured to send a unique OTP to every customer you send this message to. I'll add a footer to this message and see how it looks. Now this looks good, right? You can also go one step further and add a call to action or quick reply button for your message. I'll use call to action and add the link to our website to show you how this works. Now this is what the final template looks like. Pretty cool, isn't it? I'll go ahead and submit it for approval, which hardly takes two to three minutes because it's done by a computer. And there you have it, your custom message template, which you can use with WhatsApp Cloud API. I hope you liked this video, which is part of the WhatsApp Cloud API video series. Hit like and subscribe because we're covering the entirety of WhatsApp Cloud API and we'll be covering more questions you might have regarding Cloud API. Until then, adios amigos.